What's up guys, I'm Doofus McDoofus Streaming, and I just want to make a short little video today about the sandbox. I don't think a lot of people know about the sandbox, so I just want to, I don't even know that much about it, but still, just, just being in there is, is nice. Uh, it's just under solo and co-op sandbox. Uh, super important. Um, the more you use the sandbox, probably the better are you, the better you are at the game. I mean, there's, there's just no doubt, doubt about it. Um, something I need to use the sandbox for is learning what things are good enough to open with. Welcome to Nova. For example, I could try out a consort right now and see if it clears wave one because I don't actually know. I've tried a warg out and I know it, it doesn't work. So, just grab all these units, doesn't really matter. The sandbox is just a way to test outside of the game and then outside of AI so you can really control whatever you want. Uh, the mo most important functions that I know of are dash, wave, and then whatever number. So you can turn to whichever wave number you want. So if I want to work on wave 18 and I want to see how strong a nightmare with butcher aura is, I can try that. I can also choose how much to send to myself. One of my favorite things. I can actually go from profile here. One of my favorite things. I know I'm hopping around a lot. Is to pull up a build. So let's see. My most recent game was right here. I got a no send on wave 15. So let's click copy. And then we're going to return to the sandbox. And this is the one I always forget. Dash load. And you can type in, you can click to copy uh, anybody's build. Anybody's build, you go to their profile, you click on it, any wave, wave one through whatever, and it'll work. Load. All you're going to do is hit control V. Bam. Confirm. And that's my build. I can't believe a short little video, my dog is going to go crazy. I'll just cut that. So, now I've got my build here. It's set to wave 15. I want to try starting the wave. However, I want to see what a little send would have done. Uh, and the one thing, I guess when you load a build, you have to type in Mythium 10,000. You can also type in Mythium, or Gold dash gold 10,000 uh, to just give you unlimited sources of gold. But I want to see if they had sent me two dinos, would I have cleared? I don't think so. And it'll do the entire wave. Wish there was a way to fast forward this, but Another, other than just starting with opens, I'm actually going to clear really easily, aren't I? Okay, well that didn't really work as well as I thought. I thought I was going to leak and explain how it works. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, okay. And then you can just reset the wave to pause it. Because if, if you don't type in a, a previous wave... Then it actually will come to wave 16, wave 17, and so forth. Uh, once again, another great thing. Let's just go to wave 1. Dash wave 1. Type in dash builder. Builder 4 is going to bring up mastermind. So this is a great way if, if you're someone who plays mastermind. And you take forever to think about how you would, how you would start the game out. This is a great way to head to the sandbox and just roll. And just go through your roll. Be like, I love Oathbreaker open, or not Oathbreaker. I love Bone Crusher open. Uh, Polys are decent, but I'd prefer Cat. I've also got the Infiltrator. I like that. I like the Mudmen. I don't want Holy Avenger. I don't want Great Boar. I'll take Harpy for the Pierce. They're saying no swift or natural tank. 
but that should do. Awesome. I'm good to go. That's a good roll. And then let's do it again. Builder four. And just keep doing that over and over. That's how you get good. Um, if you do want to work on the actual other builders, like to look at, I guess, synergies between actual ones, like here's Forsaken. So now they gave me all the Forsaken units. And I think it's like Wave 2, or Builder 2, Builder 3, and then all the other builders should pop up. But Builder 4 is Mastermind Roll. So it's really the more important one if you're playing ranked. Um, those are the main things. But I mean, at, at the end of the day, you just clear everything. At the end of the day, it's like, if somebody sent you something nasty, could you handle it? That's really what it comes down to. So, so if I get like a dragon turtle on two, Oh, I guess I have to actually type in dash builder four. But yeah, if I get a dragon turtle on two, how bad is it going to mess up a, a possible build? So right here, if I went Oathbreaker open, I just grab cheapest units. If I go Oathbreaker open, it might actually leak to snail now. Let's test it out. Why not? So I've got Oathbreaker open, one of the best opens in the game. You get three workers right off the bat. But will a snail mess it up? I heard that through the nerfing, the Oathbreaker is actually pretty weak. And it does. It looks extremely weak. Maybe, maybe actually it's really close. No, it's still good. So an Oathbreaker still clears a snail. That's a great thing to know. That's fantastic to know. Now, I know an Oathbreaker and a Windhawk will easily clear Wave 2. But, if they sent a Dragon Turtle, would it? This is another great thing we can test out. And if you're too impatient, just dash start will automatically start the wave. Now, I know I don't know all the functions of of the sandbox but there's at least these little things you can start with that I think if you really want to get good at the game it's important to test it out because I know I don't use the sandbox as much as I should so that dragon turtle it's a baby leak but it did leak me so that's good to know that if I go Oathbreaker open drop a windhawk on wave 2 I'm going to leak. I'm going to leak the DT and only two. So maybe it's still worth it. Of course it's still worth it. Uh, brutes on three is always a good one. And then you can just hit dash clear. If you don't want to see your king get hit. See, now I'm going to do like an entire build. But but this is good. You know, you're, you're, it's like you're playing a game by yourself. And you are. And, and you can determine what sends to send to yourself. So maybe I get brooded on three. You know? Um, also, something... I'll highlight the auras real quick. I should probably just clear this, because I'm, I'm going to leak anyhow. This 100% leaks brood. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Yes, okay. Okay, someone like me, I don't know how to properly use auras, right? So, something I've done before, and I haven't improved that much, is to just put units around an aura. Just, see, and I, I screwed up right now. Just, just to mentally remember how to use an aura. And then, how could I put an APS around here to get the, the most use out of it? So I could do an APS there. 
because now these two units are getting double boosted. They're getting the double aura. That's good to know. So I'd want my two strongest units right there. Or I could have put it right there to the, the back two. You know, maybe you have a doppelganger right there in the back. Uh, definitely want those units in the back. But there's just these little things that you can really just test out in the sandbox. Uh, you can test out damage dealt. Because um, with the damage dealt thing, it's really nice now. You can also see with a positioning like this, which of your which of your units is going to get hit first and which lasts the longest. I know it's going to be this Oathbreaker in the back because it's the farthest back unit. Just just to prove, just go to six real quick. And this will be my last thing. And if you guys have any questions or if you know other commands that I don't know, please let us know. But yeah, the, the Oathbreakers will last the longest, which is awesome. Yeah, see, the Oathbreakers last longest. I know that already. I was just trying to trying to prove that those back units are important. And how did I know that? Because I've tested it in Sandbox. Um, once again, just showing you profile. You can go on anybody's profile, grab any game that you lost on, Go to builds and pull any of the things you want. I got annihilated that game. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, once again, if you have anything you'd like to say about Sandbox, please leave it in the comments below. And uh, any other teachings you want to know about or that I should learn about, see you in the next one, guys.